How's, it, how's the meal running on the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How's the bail running on the county commissioner? Uh, I haven't totaled it up. Uh, the overall deal, uh, Fisher told me yesterday that he had he ran a count on it, on what came in yesterday, and it was, I believe he said 360 to for the county commissioner bill to 40 some odd for against it. Is that one day's mail? Or yes, that was yesterday. Uh -huh. School bill is the one that we're attempting to settle first. But I mean after that. Uh, oh, I don't know. Without additional financing, there would probably be over 200 more let off. I haven't heard any of them say anything different since that time. I want to stop with a simple observation that if we don't, if the county commissioner bill isn't passed, and if some other method of financing the highway department isn't substituted for it, then it's perfectly obvious that the highway program is going to be seriously curtailed. which is the control, was there. I don't think that the governor controls the legislature. I don't, I certainly have never contended that I controlled it, and I don't think any other governor would contend that he controlled the legislature. So not agreeing with that premise, then it's difficult for me to follow your logic when you say that the control is slipping. I think it would be a lot more accurate to say that on points of the program that you have seen, and I say you, I mean the newspapers, have seen opposition to those points of the program. Uh, Mr. Berry has uh, assigned Mr. Artmenic and myself to complete the investigation here locally, and we have today obtained from uh, District Judge Morris uh, subpoenas for eight witnesses to appear in our office uh, Monday morning at 9 o'clock. We hope to find from these witnesses possibly uh, the answers to a number of questions. Uh, one of the witnesses, of course, is Mr. Otis T. Carr himself, the inventor of the machine.
recent gubernatorial campaign, it was suggested that the system of building state highways was antiquated, graft-ridden, and corrupt. It is now suggested that the county system of building highways is antiquated, graft-ridden, and corrupt. It therefore seems to me that the administration should get behind a program of bills to bring up to date the system of building highways and to make more efficient that system and to eliminate the graft and corruption both at the state and county level before we decide whether to take the building of county roads and the maintaining of county roads out of the hands of the local rural people and put it into the hands of the State Highway Commission. And the third factor which led to the present situation is the role that the government of the United States has been playing with regard to the aspirations of the Arab people in North Africa to liberate themselves from under the menace of French colonialism. Uh, we know that the United States was the first to revolt against traditional colonialism. And yet, unfortunately, we see that we are supporting colonialism rather than uh, supporting the aspirations of the people who want to be free and masters of their own destiny. When the people of Algeria revolt to achieve their freedom from under French rule, they are called terrorists. But when the Hungarians revolted, they were called freedom fighters and heroes. to anything uh, that is a direct double cross of the people. 315,000 people voted against any legalizing sale of whiskey in Oklahoma at all. 396,000 people voted against uh, advertising because this bill was uh, uh, played up as being one that prohibited advertising. And we believe that any form of advertising, aside from that which was st uh, stated in the bill particularly, is a double cross of the people of the state of Oklahoma. We are opposed to anything that would increase the consumption of alcohol. Liquor people want to sell alcohol. They want to sell it to as many people as, at as many times, in as many places, uh, in as many hours as they can. And we, on the other hand, want to sell it to as few people, as little of it, in as few places and in as few times as possible. Well, how are they getting around this if they promised that in the amendment? Well, they're getting around it uh, by an interpretation, saying that the interpretation of the amendment does not prohibit uh, brand naming, uh, brand advertising. 